Yo, what's up guys, it's Anirudh from AV Gaming and I'm back here with another video and welcome back to my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode for episode 6. Um, now unfortunately, even from last race, I forgot to change the race back to 5 laps and I know I said I was good at France, but I'm like really good at Aus Austria, so I guess we're just gonna have to qualify well. I have put all the uh, all the parts back to the newest ones, so we should be fine on that front. But it looks like we're going to have a wet qualifying and a wet race. So that's going to be exciting. And let's just see what we can do. Austria has like very few corners. So let's see. I think the hardest corner is turn four. But other than that, it should be great. Yep, we're going to be on inters. Our setup is going to be for increased top speed because this is Austria and we're gonna head to the track whoa okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that come on dude <laughs> Wait, what Car a bit. We're currently in P1. Wow. It kind of worried me because in the yeah FP, in FP3, Schwartz, uh, I I didn't set a time because so I accidentally pressed go to track instead of quick practice. But I'd already gotten all the resource points. But um so I, I just retired from the session. But Schwartzman was five seconds off the pace in FP3. So that got me kind of worried about the car's pace, but we seem to be doing very well. I told you I was good around Austria. Ooh, a bit wide through there though. I think we're still good. Purple in the second sector. I think that was the second sector. Oh, the players gone ahead of us. We made a bit of a mistake through there. It turned a bit too late there. No, I was doing so well up to here, up to here. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flashback. I, I, I think I can get pulled. Actually. Oh wait, wait, I wasn't ready. Yeah, I always go wide at that that corner though, but look at us, look at us. We're in P1. We're in P1. Pole position. Excellent lap. We're really pleased. Wow. It's qualified P1 in the wet at Austria. I told you I was insane at Austria. Like it's just a really high and speed track. I'm good at. Let's review our top three today. Anderson, Leclerc, and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Look at this shit. Schwarzman is last. He's... <coughs> wow. Two point, he's 2.5 seconds off the pace from me. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see. Surely we can get at least a podium. And Mazepin is qualified 21st, so we should, yeah, we should be gaining a lot of, a lot of ground on him. Wow, we're tied now. Great. You guys can probably hear I'm eating, but. Let's go. Just no mistakes, clean driving, and I can win. The great thing is I don't have to be tentative into turn one because there's no one ahead of me. All right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Oh, yeah, Jeff. Oh, wait, that's not Jeff. Whatever. <laughs> I think his name is James or something. 
It's only five laps. I only have to hold my position for five laps. There are no pit strategies or anything I have to worry about. It's just fast. Good, Good afternoon speed. and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship, <laughs> except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven rights and three lefts, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner, as the wet conditions make the cars skittish. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Anderson lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Norris, Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Ricardo, Perez, Gasly, and Sebastian Vettel. Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Lance Stroll and Ocon, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Carlos Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, and George Russell, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Mazepin and Robert Schwartzman. Which of these... Okay, let's go. Yep, obviously we're in park permit. That's what caused me to, to start from last last day because of park for me whoa not a good shot off the line but third bot has jumped Leclerc off the line and we're still ahead to turn one bro bot is coming for us he's hit us but what is he doing bro bot if we get it you're the championship leader and you want to extend that lead but I'm a new driver in F1 and I want this win. And I deserve this win. For that incredible qualifying 2.5 seconds ahead of my teammates. I think this is definitely the track that I'm best at. Like you guys have seen, even like on 60% difficulty, I think that is the right difficulty for me. Like on all the other tracks. Oh my god! Bot has just hit me. Wait, that's still keep going. Surely he lost his front wing for that. I'm not going to flashback that because... Surely he lost his front wing. Dude, he literally just... Hit me side on. I'm about to hit from behind as well. Just these AI. Just suck. I get a warning for a collision with Leclerc. Listen, I've been punted twice. So dumb. Jump purple in the first sector. Oh, okay. Let's flashback that. I deserve a piece of few flashbacks. Because <laughs> the only reason I'm not in first place is because <laughs> this guy just slammed into me and hopefully lost the front wing. There's no DRS on this way, so I just have to overtake him on slipstream. Out of the RS for the lap, but okay. So the fastest Good lap. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Ooh, turned in a bit early there. I was within a second briefly, but come on, we got three laps to catch him. 
We'll clean up the past then. Got one of the corner cutting. The rear stepped out. Ah. I had some upgrades on rear downforce, but apparently it's not enough. Be more confident on the throttles. Ah, he's pulling away. He didn't even he didn't even get front wing damage from literally hitting me side on. Otherwise he would have either pit or he would be really slow by now. Have to catch the car there. Looks like I'm only gonna be able to get second. Hamilton is right behind me as well. Where did Leclerc go? I think maybe maybe when he hit me, he took front wing damage. But Bottas did it. Even though Bottas, yeah, he's Leclerc is nowhere to be found on the mini map. No, he's way there. I see a Ferrari way down. Could be signs. He took a good penalty, but whoa, 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 Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton! No, you're not taking this position. Get out of here. Unless you wanna crash into me and take the position like your teammate did. I'm actually faster than the fit This line. is your final lap. Final lap of the race gap to teammate behind is 15.0 seconds. With ERS, I'm like I'm faster than Hamilton in a straight line. Wow. Maybe I just got the way better exit because he's faster right now. I'm breaking too early for that corner. I'm not gaining the time that I should be. And then I just kind of lifted off the brakes and then I broke too late. Yikes. Don't have, didn't get the best exit. Just gonna squeeze him a bit. Yeah, make him back out of the, the overtake. I just gotta hold the position for just the, till the end of this lap, and I'm gonna come home to take 19 points. 18 for second plus the fastest lap. I don't think Bottas has set it for faster lap than I did. I didn't tweak my fuel load though, maybe maybe I could have won the race had I done that. Whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna come through uh, to take P2, maybe. Okay, I mean Hamilton. Hamilton just rear-ended me. <laughs> I said I'm coming home to take P2 and then Hamilton spins me. Okay, so we come home to take P2 in the Austrian GP. Let's go. Yes, 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 we're on the podium. Good job this weekend, great drive, thank you. Let's go. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Mercedes are on top Bottas form once too again quick. after an excellent race this weekend. Too quick for this. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. He's too quick in this career mode save. The best driver in the world. He can't be touched. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. 
Who do you pick? Definitely Antonio Giovinazzi, isn't it? No matter what the rest of the field threw at him, he didn't put a foot wrong. Superb drive from him. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from the owner drivers team this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. I'm equal parts exhausted and yeah, so elated with this weekend I've just Formula One. Gained Be two sure positions to join in the standings. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.